Hello, welcome to this video on how to submit a compiler test case. My name is George Mock and I'll be your guide. The scenario you find yourself in is you're using Code Composer Studio on a project uh, probably more complex than this one. And some problem has occurred related to the compiler. You made uh, contact with Texas Instruments about your problem, usually by posting on the forum. And TI has responded saying we need a test case. What do you do now? That's what this video is about. So a compiler test case has three important parts to it. The preprocess file, the build options, and the compiler version. You need all three, okay? Um, we're going to start here with the preprocessed file. Okay, so in my simple project, it builds clean right now, no problems, but I'm about to change that. I just deleted that semicolon and introduced a problem. Let's pretend that represents the problem you are experiencing. Let's also pretend that instead of including one header file, this project includes a large number of header files that include yet other, other header files and so on and so forth. Okay, um, so that's the case for this simple situation, and things are going to be pretty straightforward from here. Um, there are other situations like you're building with a make file and you may not like the options I'm about to show and things like this. There is an article on this topic and the uh, link to that article is in the video description. So if you find yourself in any of those uh, situations that that article is the place to go to next. Okay. So what do we do? All right. Well, for the problem source file, right click on it choose show build settings we're going to be changing the, the build settings just for this file you want to drive to under build the name of your compiler which is arm in this this case it could be c6000 or whatever under advanced options choose parser preprocessing options okay that will bring this up you want to change from automatic to manual and then we're going to choose two options Preprocess and keep the comments, and continuing continue compilation after preprocessing is done. All right, so you've chosen those two options. We're going to apply them to that file. We're going to build just the problem file, not the whole project. Okay, so right click on the file name again. Build selected files. All right, and it builds, and as we expected, missing semicolon. You know, that's, that represents what problem you're really experiencing. There's a new file over here. This main.pp was not here before. This is the preprocess file I'm talking about. This is the one you need to submit to Texas Instruments. If you're going to attach it to a forum thread, the extension.pp is not accepted, so we need to change this file name. So right-click on it. Choose rename, and lots of ways you can go about this. I add the extension.txt to it. Um, the extension.txt is accepted by the forum. All right, so now we're ready to attach this thing to a forum thread. Let's show how that works by going to. Here we go. <laughs> Fooled you. Uh, this one. Yes. Okay. So here's the forum thread. Um, this is the, th the part of the thread where TI says, please send a test case. And then you click on reply. And then this isn't still not where we need to be. You click on insert code, attach files, and more. This brings up a more feature-rich interface. Uh, lots of icons here. One of them looks kind of like a paper clip. Click on that guy. And this is the interface you use to attach the file. I'm not going to go through it. It's pretty basic from here. All right, so we've gotten through the preprocess file. Now let's talk about build options and the compiler version. For that, I want to go back to the CCS view of the world. And in your console view, that's where the information is on the build options. I'm going to maximize this window so we can see everything better. This right here is the build string. Okay, that has all the build options and everything. Just copy the whole thing. 
Don't get too particular. Go back to your form thread. In my browser, I choose paste as plain text. Your browser probably has something similar. And here we go, we've copied it in. Now remember, the third thing we need is the compiler version. In this particular case, and in a lot of cases, the compiler version is right here in the build string. There it is, 18.1.1.lts. If it's not present in your build string, then I need you to go to that article I mentioned in the, uh, the, the link to the article I mentioned, which is in the video description. And that has a, a section on it about the compiler version and how you can find it. And so whatever you do, make sure you tell us the compiler version. You give us the build options like this, and you send in that pre-process file. That's it. Thank you for watching this video on how to submit a compiler test case. My name is George Mock, and I was your guide.